Let's watch some crazy stuff, yo. I, I had to remind my parents. Hey, wait a minute, Rick. What? I thought this was a commercial. What, what's going on? I mean, who got the size don't, don't worry about it. Let's just let's see where this goes. Oh my God! It's still the commercial. What the? F Jeez, Rick! Oh my God! Bro, <laughs> bro, this is sleep paralysis, bro. Hell? What? Did y'all see by the title? Y'all know what today is. What's going on, YouTube? K Rob here, bringing you a game called Bad Parenting. Now, a lot of people. I've already played this game I, that I've been seeing on my uh, recommended and I was like bro let me check out this game you know I had some mutuals tell me about bad parenting and they were like yo like you should play this uh, I would love to see you play this game so I'm like you know what bro come on man let's get into it there are trigger warnings in this game there are trigger warnings so for anyone that has these trigger warnings uh, I believe it was like child abuse violence uh, child like it was like a lot of like child abuse trigger warning so if you have any type of trauma any type of any type of things going on that you dealt with when you were a child and it like you just don't want to like you know watch it for real uh this video is not for you but shout out to all my people out there that survived their childhood abuse if you are still pushing right now today and like you are not letting your childhood define who you are as a person today and you're still fighting on bro i applaud you so much uh, my heart goes out to every single one of y'all that has dealt with some type of trauma in you throughout your childhood bro like if you went through that shit and you conquered it and you're like fighting on I bro that is that's true strength right there so shout out to y'all for I need to give y'all like a I wish I could go ahead and hug every single one of y'all that's been through it so you know what come here I, I just need to you feel me bro. anyways y'all without further ado let's jump right into some bad parents huh? yeah Okay. Mom, you're home. Late again. Oh, so I... Come on. I was busy with work. Can you have some sympathy for me? But today's my birthday. Dang. How you gonna forget your kid's birthday? You're not gonna be like, Happy birthday, son! Like, dang. Oh, oh, of course. I know that. Then where's my gift? Oh, um. Have you ever heard of Mr. Redface? On the birthday of good children, Mr. Redface secretly leaves gifts while they are asleep. Really? Of course. If you want to get your gift, you have to go to bed right away. Damn, what? Yeah, you gonna put it? Bro, nah. She not slick. I know what she doing. She putting broski to bed because, like, she wants it to go to the next day and forget about the birthday. I, I peep what you doing, mom. I'm going to bed right now, mom. What the f- You're fooling the kid again. How many times have you come home this late? I was working, and my shift ended late. Bullshit! You still think I'm an idiot, don't you? Hey, little shit, get back to you- Dang! This is Dada? Dada call me little shit? What? That's crazy. Don't stay here eavesdropping on grown-up conversations. Okay. Dang, bro. That's wild. Look at that, bro. Bro, you over here running around in your little boxes, your little tidy whities bro. What the f- oh. oh, wait. It looked like- Okay, never mind. Okay, I'll just go- Yeah, I'll, I'll go to my room now. Bro, look at this. What? This game is kind of weird. Like, it looks it looks creepy. The aesthetic of it is just weird. All right, let me see what's in my room. I'm gonna go to sleep so I can get my gifts. Wait, I just peed. This is not my room. Is this mom and dad's room? Wait. Mom and dad have separate beds. If this is their room, they got separate beds? <laughs> what? I think this is my room. This is my... Dang, why does my room look so dull? This kid is living the worst childhood ever, bro. Look at this. Like, bro, I'm a kid. I'm supposed to have, like, like kid stuff. This looks so 
dull and boring. Like, bro, is this a roll of toilet paper on a table? Like, why do I need this? I'm just gonna go to bed. Come on. It's supposed to be my birthday. This how it's how I get treated on my birthday. These parents need they need some, they need to get to some counseling, cause that's not how you treat a little kid, bro. No one said happy birthday too. Like, I had to remind my parents. Who got the size 20 feet on, bro? What is that? What is that? What the f- Bro! Bro, this is sleep paralysis, bro. What is that? What the f- Bro. Your posture is crazy. Damn, son. Bro got the meanest hunchback. Bro, that's literally sleep paralysis, bro. Oh. What's this? Is that the gift from Mr. Redface? No way! What the f- This ugly ass doll. Hi, I'm Ron. What? You can talk? Of course, because I was created by magic. You even have the same name and appearance as me. That's right. My master made me just for you, but your neck seems a bit loose. It's okay. Sometimes my master makes mistakes. This is just a small flaw compared to the other dolls. What's important is that from now on, I'll be your best friend. That sounds wonderful. Do you want to play something with me? Mm, my master stored my toys in the closet. Can you get them for me? Okay. Um, yeah, sure. Let's... What kind of toys you got? That's not a toy. The closet is still stuck? Can you try that again? It's stuck. I can't. I've tried my best. I can't open it. Do you want me to do something else? I'm hungry. You're a doll. Can you even eat? No. You'll be the one eating. But I'll be able to feed everything you eat. Wait. But I'll be able to feel- Oh, I'll be able to feel everything you eat. Okay, okay. My master linked all your senses and emotions to me, so I can easily understand you. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so this doll is like literally me, bro. All right, let's go get some food. See what we got to eat in this house. Where's mom and dad at? They, they around? Oh, I don't think mom and dad are home, so let's go ahead and find us some food. Microwave? Nothing. Okay. Fridge. You're reading this letter at 1 p.m., aren't you, sleepyhead? I've prepared your favorite dish in the fridge, so remember to heat it up before eating. Lately, I've been noticing you've been getting lazy about eating. You know, I don't have much time at home, so please learn to take care of yourself and stop making me worry. One more thing. Don't forget to take your medicine after eating. Mom. Okay, so, mom, I mean, at least she made some food, you know what I'm saying? Give, you are holding some, okay, let me, let me put you down. Let me go ahead and get some, f get the food, heat it up. And then she said, take my meds. Oh, okay. So let's put this here. Let's go ahead and take the medicine. Oh wait, do we eat first? Is that your favorite dish? Do you want to see me perform some magic? Sure. Yes, please. All right, I'll make this plate of food never run out. Every time you finish eating, the dish will be restored to its original state. Let me see. Oh! Infinite food? Wow, that's amazing! What else can you do? Huh? Yo? What just happened? I don't know. You guess. Oh no, the bottle. My dad's gonna whip my ass. I hope he's still asleep. Your dad? Don't worry, my master has taken your dad away. What did you, what did you say? 
Dad's gone? No more abusive dad? Hold on, do I, I have to take these meds, right? Wait, or do I have to check in on the dad? Oh, dad's gone. Oh my God, okay. All right. Where's my dad? As I said, my master is taking your dad away. Why? Because your dad is a bad person. He often hits and yells at you. Parents like that are taken away by my master to protect children like you. But this is too much. My dad doesn't deserve that. He is a bad person. No, he's not. Please, let my dad go. I'm begging you. All right, all right. But my master won't like this. It's quite a long way to where your dad is being held. You'll have to use a shortcut if you want to get there in time to save him. Show me the way. The shortcut is through your closet. Okay. Wait, do I have to take the meds though? Because mom did say take the medicine. Hold on. Okay, I can't take the meds yet. Okay, let's just go to the room. We gotta get to that closet. Look at the little dude pointing to the closet. I, okay. You still can't open it? That's disappointing. I guess we'll have to use your parents' closet then. Okay. Uh, let's go to the parents' closet then. You should know that these closets can function as portals. They can take you anywhere you want, including where your dad is being held. Give it a try. They over here using these, these closets like Narnia. Oh. There's nothing in here. Oh, right. I forgot. There are a few steps you need to take to activate this shortcut. Bring your dad's radio and place it in front of the closet. Okay. Take this. Place it here. This radio will work like an elevator button. You need to select a frequency first. If you choose the right frequency, the door will open to the place you need to go. All right. That sounds peaceful. Seems like that's not it. Let's try again. Okay. Ooh. That sounds mad. <gasps> what? What is that? I think this is the one. Go ahead and step in. I'll stay here and watch the house. Oh, okay. Oh. Whoa. What is this? Bro, it looks like, uh, I don't know if y'all remember Cats from uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog. For anyone who knows Courage the Cowardly Dog, bro, this kind of reminds me of Cats. Can I, can I speak to, oh. What's up? I'm looking for my dad. Describe. My dad's name is Bruce. Wait a moment. There are many Bruces here. Any more details? Is this Bruce a good Bruce or a bad Bruce? Well, my dad is the kind of person who gets a bit angry. So he's a bad Bruce. Let me see. There are still many bad Bruces. More specifics, please. What else does he do? He often yells. Still not enough information. Sometimes he hits me. And slaps too. And? That's all. The door is behind you. Oh. Wait. wait. <gasps> Boo! <laughs> he just got startled. Who are you guys? Just like you. We're kids on our way to find our parents. We're staying here for a bit. Do you want to join us? I'm sorry. I'm in a hurry. Okay, see you later. What? Whoa, bro. This kid's like in a grave. This kid's in a trunk. This kid's by just sitting, chilling by the fire. What the f What's the significance of this kid being in the trunk, this one in the grave, and this one by the fire? I'm confused. I got questions about that. Huh? Dead? 
Please, stop punishing me. It's me, Dad. Please, stop punishing me. What has he done to you? Come on, let's go home, or Mr. Redface will take both of us. Please, stop punishing me. Dad going through it, huh? I mean, he is being punished for being a bad dad. That's... That's wild. I guess we're... Where do we go from here? Oh. Spell? <laughs> God, bro. What the... Bro, why? Why, why, why? What the... F Mom? Dang! What the f- Hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you hiding in the closet? Mr. Redface has taken dead. Oh. Well, that's a good thing then. I'm not joking. It's a long story. Let me explain. How's your doll Ron doing today? Is it alright? The doll? Mom. How do you know about it? Of course I know, since you haven't taken your medicine today. Oh yeah. This isn't the first time you've had such hallucinations. Every time you tell a different story, but the common factor is always that stupid doll. Don't you remember the previous times? No. <sighs> I don't know what is wrong with you. Just go to bed. It's midnight already. Okay, what the f- I guess I'll go to bed again. I'm, I didn't even take the meds, bro. I <gasps> bro, come on, bro. <laughs> Wait. What just happened, son? Are you alright? Is Mr. Redface the dad? And he just strangled me? That's why his neck was loose. What the? Why is mom creeping like that? Look at her. Do you feel better now? Yeah, mom. It's Mr. Redfa- It's all right. Tomorrow, I'll take a day off to stay home and take care of you. Really? Promise me, mom. I promise. Now go back to sleep. Yes, mom. Wait, I think Mr. Redface is the dad, bro. And that's and Ron is the like the doll is me. And he was saying that the doll had like a loose neck. And I was just being strangled. Mom? <sighs> You've broken the promise again. Nah, this is deep, bro. This is sad, man. Oh my god, Ron. Bro, what's going look look look, look at the neck. <gasps> What happened to you? My master beat the shit out of me. He wasn't happy about what happened yesterday. I'm sorry. This is my fault. By the way, have you seen my mom anywhere? My master has taken her away. What? Wait. Oh my gosh. It just happened. I'm sorry I couldn't stop him. You should run away. Because he'll come back soon to take you too. No. I have to save my mom and my dad too. How? Don't you see what he did to me? Oh my gosh. I found this at my dad's prison. I think it might help us defeat him. That, that's the spell to defeat Mr. Redface. Come on, quickly go into the closet to find where your mom is being held. Oh my gosh, this is, wow. Okay, this is crazy deep. Wait a minute. All right, um, we got to go back to the, the parents' room. Let's go. Okay, we got this. Bro, it's dark now, bro. And the kids. Yo, they're hiding. <gasps> Mom is crying. Quickly, throw the spell in here and take cover. Where's dad though? Oh, 
Okay, I gotta take cover with these kids. Come on. Here comes a size 20, bro. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Okay, um, let's check what happened. What the f- Can I not look? I can't look inside. Oh, we gotta go back. This is crazy, y'all. This is- Wait, what? Oh my gosh. What's happening to you? My master has been defeated. The magic he cast on me is also fading. Are you disappearing? Don't worry. This is what I wanted. You should go outside and see your parents. Oh my. What the f Is that mom? Wait. Oh, it's dad and mom. Dad! Mom! Y'all are free now! Damn, son. You've been having an affair, haven't you? I told you I was busy with work. Liar! You've neglected this family for another man. Aren't you ashamed to lie to your son? And what about you? Do you think you're better than me? You're just at home leeching off me all year round. What kind of father are you? No matter what I do, it's my business. I still bring money home to support my child. And if you still think I'm a whore, you're lowering yourself even below that. Damn, son. Wow. One more word. Fine. You and I will get a divorce. One of us will have to move out of this house. If you're still here tomorrow, I'll take my son and leave. You stay right there. Dude. No way. I feel so bad for this kid, man. And look at dad, bro. She left me with dad and he's drinking. This is not good. Oh. He's drunk, bro. I won't let this happen. Hello? Wait! He's strangling the kid, bro. Oh, no, 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 He... Wait, he... He put him in the closet! He killed the kid and put him in the closet, bro. No way. No. 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 This cannot be true. I'm very sorry, Ron. Your closet. I think you're able to open it now. Oh my gosh. No way. The kid, bro. The kid is in the closet, bro. This is m me? Why don't I know anything about these? You've always known. Because I am the knowing part of you. You've tried to deny and reject these things and made up stories to make yourself feel better about you and your dad. And me, I have to find a way to lead you back to the reality. I've tried many times, many ways to help you accept this truth as easily as possible. And every time I fail, guess what happens? Tick tock, boom, all the memories disappear. You once again wake up at the starting point, which is the night your dad murdered you. How long have I been dead? 14 days. So all the other kids, right? All the other kids that were trying to find their dad were dead too. Like, 
that was those were dead kids. That's why the one kid was in the grave, another was in the back of a trunk, and the other one was by a, the fire. It can't have been that long. What really happened to my parents? As for your dad, he's hiding in a cheap motel room. So. Oh. Go home with me, dad. Yo, this is insane. Like, this is a... Wow, this game is wild. What about my mom? She still sees me, doesn't she? That's right, because she's only home late at night. But if it's daytime... Huh? Son? Oh my god, bro. No. Oh, this game. Do you have any clues about your husband's hiding place? The cops, bro. You just dropped something, ma'am. The spell. What is that? It's a motel car. <gasps> but I'm not sure it's mine. That's the spell to get dad caught. That's why. Oh my gosh. That was the spell to get dad locked up, bro. Killer father arrested. Oh, snap. Well deserved, bro. Well fucking deserved. Oh, my gosh, bro. If you are, if you are this type of parent... You deserve everything that every bad thing to come to you cuz like there's no way there's just no way Kids don't deserve that Kids do not deserve that bro Look see the other kid So all these people were killed by their dads all these children look Who put the kid in the fire? What dad put and someone put the kid in the trunk bro y'all and then there's me in the closet, bro. This is crazy wild. Sad story, bro. Sad story. That's why not everyone should be a parent. I don't care if you have a child, bro. Not everyone is suited to be a parent. That is so crazy. Wow, this game was deep. Wow, this game was so deep, bro. Holy. I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away, bro. Like I said before in the beginning, y'all, if y'all ever went through some type of childhood trauma, I feel for you. My heart goes out to every single one of y'all, bro, because no child should have to go through that type of stuff. If you're going through life right now and you're trying to be the best person, the best version of yourself, and you're not letting the past define who you are today, bro, I applaud you. And you should you should be proud of yourself. You know what I'm saying? You mean something to this world. I don't care like how you feel about it. like. The world would not be a better place without you. So if you ever had the thought about taking your life or anything like that, or like it's just like gets too much for you, please go out and reach a hand out, bro, because there are people out there to help. And I hope that these videos I make help in some way, shape, or form. They might not, I know they might not be able to take away the entire pain or the entire like trauma that you're going through, but I hope that it eases the pain a little bit and it just helps you get through the day. The one thing that I want y'all to do 
is just give me one more day. No matter how bad life is 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 life in right now, please give me one day because I promise you, bro, we are all stronger together. And I I I cherish y'all so much, bro. Every single one of y'all that's a part of this community, thank y'all so much. And I just want to let y'all know, bro, you are loved from the bottom to the top of my heart. This is a very deep game. I dealt with some childhood trauma as well. So I'm not just speaking off like out of my ass, bro. I totally get it. But I know for a fact that there are people out there that do love me today. And um, I keep fighting for them. You know, um, there's a lot of stuff that goes on, especially during the childhood era. And a lot of this stuff like can't be prevented and because you're just a child. Like you don't, you shouldn't have to be put into adult shoes when you're that young. You feel me? And you shouldn't have to deal with that stuff. Like adults should be capable of handling a child and they should be responsible accordingly. You know what I'm saying? That has nothing to do with you. And I hope that you come to peace and come to terms with yourself and just know that, bro, you are not the problem. Like, it's not you. It's not you, bro. It's not you. And you are loved. With that being said, though, y'all, if y'all did enjoy the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on the game. Insane game, bro. Insane, insane game. But anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much. Stay cheerful, stay motivated, and stay blessed, y'all. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.